I right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. It's the brother Azariah here with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. And I just really want to do a quick lesson, nothing too long and drawn out. Okay, going into this whole bug out with this magic mushrooms. I got a couple of scriptures. Um, let's see here, but before I, before I get this first one, I just want to say, um, I, I ran across this dude's channel, that dude, Wrath of Heaven, okay, and, um, you know, when I came across the channel, I had a feeling he was bugged out, but, uh, it, it needed time to re be revealed, okay, and, uh, now we know that this dude is bugged out, okay, dude's tripping, hold on, dude's wilding, okay, First Timothy 4 and 16, take heed unto thyself, and unto the doctrine, continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay? And the bug out spirit, you know, and the, and the, the false doctrine spirit hops on people. Okay? And uh, they bug out, you know? They bug out. Okay? And, and you kind of see that going on with this dude. I mean, for the longest, you know, I would watch his videos here and there i couldn't really stay around him too much watching his videos because he was just very bitter and angry and you could hear it and uh the scriptures talk about being bitter you know and many being defiled therewith because because honestly when you when you're out there when you're when you're making lessons okay people emulate you people are emulating you Okay, if you if you out there preaching this preaching the gospel and you appear to be the, a man of the Lord, people are going to copy you. You know, they're going to say something that they heard you say, especially if you, like I said, appear to be a man of the Lord. So you have to be careful what you say, you know, and uh, just got to be mindful of that, man. You don't want to offend the little ones. <clears throat> but this dude, man, he just he ain't nobody, man. You can just. He's just bugging out, man. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know you not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is in you, except you be reprobates. <laughs> so, you know, this dude's not examining himself, you know, because everybody has certain moments. Okay, but, you know, this dude is proud and puffed up, okay? He's proud and puffed up. It's just not a good look, man. You know, whenever he get reproved, he doesn't take the reproof. <clears throat> he just he just goes in, man. You know? He's going in. Talk about he don't care nothing about the camps and about GMS and <clears throat> you know. Dude is through. Luke twelve and two. Because finally he's got exposed for his wickedness, man. For, uh, let me see. I'm going to start at verse 1, probably. Let me click on it. Luke 12 and 1. Yeah, in the meantime, when they were gathered together in, in mul an innumerable multitude of people, in so much that they trolled one upon another, <laughs> he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is, in, which is hypocrisy. And um, I laughed because he said it was so many people, they was walking on one another. Verse 2, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. So this dude probably been saying that for a long time about, uh, you know, uh, uh, magic mushrooms and and, and you really, you have to understand, that's all that stuff is seducing spirits, man. Seducing spirits that make you go and say certain things, you know. Um, and it's definitely, like, very strong spirits and demons that uh, that come with those different drugs, man. You know, those different drugs have very strong spirits that come with them. And they, uh, they can play on your mind, man, you know. They can play on your mind. And if you're partaking of illicit drugs even if, even weed whatever if you're partaking of those things your, your mind is not 
uh, your faculties are not about you. I mean, even too much alcohol can, you know, can cloud your judgment. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you got to just really understand and have your wits about you when you're dealing with certain things. Alcohol is lawful, but popping magic shrooms is just out of out of there, man. You know, and, and of course, uh, I saw something on the Elder Manatazakbaz, one of his videos about the dude going into marijuana and stuff. You know, now we know marijuana has certain medicinal properties, but but just as a testimony of a brother having taken the oil, we don't have time for that. You know, we don't have time to be taking no oil. You know, um, it's just, it, it, you can't really function normally. You know, it makes you sleepy. You sleep all day. The oil doesn't make you high like smoking it does, which is why you don't really hear very many people talking about taking oil or whatever you know they're mostly uh proponents or they're mostly advocates of smoking it but actually taking the whole the oil for health benefits um it's a completely different experience now i've seen testimonies of it working or whatever but you know like i said there's other herbs there's plenty of other herbs that you can use to heal yourself that the lord have put out there so you don't have to go into marijuana and all these other things people just do that stuff because they want to get high that's what it comes down to, man. You do it because you want to get high, you know. <clears throat> and with the, and really the only way you have to know, you have to see that shit being grown in order for you to even start to trust it, you know. Because everything I've been in that world, everything that you get on the streets is completely contaminated, pesticides, all type of shit gets sprayed on it. You don't want that shit in your body. You don't want to make no oil out of that shit. You don't want to do you don't want to eat that shit. You don't want it. It's all got some poison sprayed on it. All of it. Cause what do you think E does? He gets that shit. He puts it, he, he takes it into his little rooms, buildings or whatever. He sprays it and then he puts it back on back on the streets to kill you niggas. You know? So Really, it's just best, it's just wise, and it's just best to not fuck with that shit on this side, like the brother has said, you know? Like the brother said in his video. It's wise to just leave that shit the fuck alone. Alright? All that shit, man. You don't need none of it. How you gonna teach the truth? How you gonna be mindful in, 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 of, of the scriptures? How you gonna be mindful of the doctrine? If you high as a kite, man. You know? <clears throat> anyway... See if I can grab me one more. One more scripture. And that'll be it. Yeah, man. People are just living in this pleasure spirit, man. Okay. Um. get this precept you know because it talks about us because we're applying for kingship we're applying for you know the 144,000 are going to be the top of the government okay so you're applying for like rulership rulership position okay so let's just get a comparison of what the scriptures say and see how much more rather you should abstain from illicit drugs Titus 2 uh, let me see There's another one too. Let me make sure. <clears throat> I'll start at Titus two and one, Salakia. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness, not false accusers and not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Okay, let's go down. Young men, verse 6. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded. So we should be exhorting 
young men to be sober-minded, sober okay, to have their faculties about themselves, to be sober-minded, and to be serious. In all things showing thyself a pattern of good works, in doctrine showing uncorruptness, gravity, and sincerity, Okay, so you should be showing uncorruptness in the doctrine, taking heed to the doctrine, that thereby you may be saved and also them that hear you, you know. Gravity meaning seriousness, you know, and, uh, and sincerity. Sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. You see? So, you know... That's just something that I want to go into real quick, man. Dude is bugging, you know, and it's a very, uh, it's a various combination when you have somebody calling on the names of Yahweh Shimi Abishai just bugging out like that, you know what I'm saying? And Magic Mushrooms, man, just, you know, it's kind of surreal to even, to even hear this type of stuff, man. You know, dude, dude's justifying popping shrooms, you know? And really, man, dude, dude had to been drunk off of these doctrines with, you know, had to have demons on them for who knows how long. Because, man, you notice a difference. For those who have ever done certain drugs or whatever, and then you 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 sober up and, you're, and you have clarity in your mind, you notice the difference, man. You know, you notice the difference and you see why. You weren't your you weren't the best that you could be when you were on those drugs. You know. But anyway, man. Hey, don't do drugs. You know, just to sum it up, don't do drugs, kids. But no, I'm really being serious though, you know. This dude is bugged out. And you should follow the example that's been set forth from the apostles and the elders and the brothers. Okay, like I said. In the stay, stay in that doctrine, man. Stay in the doctrine of the Great Millstone, man. And we don't recommend that brothers do anything like this, man. Let's see if I still got that open. Yep, yep. Second Timothy four and sixteen. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Call halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem HaRachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. This is a real quick hit. Lord willing, it was edifying. Shalom.